What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back. It's a beautiful Thursday. We just had a great moment to sit down and talk with Money Bo, a gentleman who you NFL sports fans may know as the Wayne Bo. And now that the gang is in the building, Mr. Craig Armstrong, and we're we, we, we going to call you LSU today. You just... You just hey, LS, LSUB. You LSU, just yeah, he called, yeah, he called extremely excited. Right. Look like Step Brothers in here. Hey, man. Buy you, bro. Buy you, bro. Buy you, bro. Buy you, I like that. Hey, call, hey, call me what you want to do. Call me broke, okay? <laughs> call me what you want to do. Call me broke. What's up, man? How you doing, brother? Yeah, you know, I'm chilling. What's going chilling. on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? You know, I had to withstand all that LSU talk. But uh, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. Listen, I'm sorry. Nobody wants to be from anybody from Alabama. I'm sorry. That's cool. I'm sorry. No, they all they just all still playing the league. That's all. But go ahead. <clears throat> we I'm, still have a bunch of players playing the league too, so don't be disrespectful. Well, I mean, we'll 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 we'll, we'll let you two be grumpy guys about your about your <laughs> teams in, 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 in a few weeks to come. But I'm surprised he happy. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a, I mean, hey, it's it's looking good for, for Florida State. We got we got it's a new day. It's a new oh, day. Oh right, Jesus, it's a new day. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Okay, like, go ahead. You yeah, didn't tell him. You didn't tell him you was a fan of Florida State. It's a new day. No, we ain't talk about good job. Good job. We didn't need to. It's all music. Good job, good job. But one of my, my homies, my light skinned brother, the splash brother himself, <laughs> Stephen Curry, will be returning to the lineup tonight. He's back. And, and that's how we're going, you know, of course, lead off tonight because, hey, it's Man's been about MVP. 50, 58 Unanimous. games since Steph has been out on the court. Uh, we know he, he broke some bones in his left hand. Nerve damage. Uh, yeah, it had, it had nerve damage, so it cost him to miss some time. A lot of people were kind of assuming during the time that the injury took place that it would be a season-ending injury, the way Should've that the, the Warriors roster has looked and their their, uh, their current record. Uh, thank you very much. They're they're uh, one of the uh, the bottom three teams in the NBA right now. So no, if, they if, this, they stink. if if uh, the NBA draft started today, they would be in the lottery and have a top three pick. They in the Anthony Edwards line. But we have to, uh, you know, I, I think it's going to be James Wiseman. James, be James Wiseman. Wiseman. I think it's going to be, gonna be James Wiseman. But uh, the Golden State Warriors are getting their MVP back out there. Of course, still no Klay Thompson. He, he won't be out there. But we'll get to see what Steph and Andrew Wiggins can do together. Uh, we'll get to see how, 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 they, how, they, how they mess it. And they'll be going up against the defending champion, Toronto Raptors. Uh, what do you guys think about Steph's uh Possible performance tonight. Now he'll be on a minute restriction. He'll 20. play some somewhere between twenty four and twenty eight minutes. Uh, Steve Kerr's, you know, wants to kind of ease him back in. Steph's just happy to be here. He's just happy to be back on the court. He just want to hoop. He, he's want to hoop, hoop and court, pull up for court, forty for some time. Are the Warriors gonna get a win tonight? And what type? Of, what type of impact? Not necessarily on the Warriors' record, <clears> but just for the <throat> NBA and basketball. What we see with Steph Curry being back in the lineup. I mean, it's always good for the light skin one to be back in. So you know. The ratings can help a little bit for the NBA. I know they're happy about that because the ratings have been terrible. So, and the Warriors finally have a meaningful game on TV. So, you know, it's good. Steph will be good for 28 minutes. That's still enough time for him to score 40 if you need to score 40. But they probably still lose because the rest of the team stinks. So, just what it is, let Steph come out there, shoot all the shots he want, get the greens light in America. Let Steph have his fun. <laughs> there it is. But then how many points you got him going for tonight? <laughs> I said between. 25, 30. 25, 30. He said 40 a minute ago. I mean, I said he, I said he, he, I said he get, even that's, to get 40, change, but be realistic. That's, that, that's the LSU no, logic I, right No, there. I said he's if he get 40, but realistically, I say between 25 and 30. Right okay. there, 25, 25 and 30. Right. They still, they still probably lose about 40. Wait, so. what type of impact do you feel like Steph will have being back in the lineup for this? We can say, I guess, this final month of the uh, yeah. uh, uh, regular season. How many points you got him dropping tonight? I think uh, right now what they're trying to do is just pretty much kickstart into next season. So you got, you have your basically all these people are going to be your bench. <laughs> so pretty you much. can you can acclimate. Uh, Steph into that with Andrew Wiggins, so you can go into next season with a little more mo uh, momentum. Um, I mean, in 24, 28 minutes, I see him getting about 20 points, 22, 22 points, okay. maybe like 22 and five. Probably. Okay, 22 and five. You say 25 and 30. 20, 30. So I'm, I'm gonna say 24. I'm gonna go with Kobe tonight. I'm gonna say he's gonna 25 and eight. You know what I'm saying? 20, I'm 20, 24 and eight. Excuse me. He's gonna 24, 24 and eight. Two steals. Fuck it, two steals. <laughs> Why not? Or two I was rebounds. Gonna, I was, one two, one two, I was two, like two, two rebounds. Two rebounds. Uh, also want to show some love real quick. We got my man Dylan in the building. He's he's in, in the cut doing doing his thing. Shout out to he, him. You know you got that terrible hoodie on. Uh, Shout you out can, to him. You can check 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 him out a lot. Catch him doing his thing on nine and two nine the game. It's very right. very dope. The up and coming is. sports reporter. Uh, then man, we gonna head to Madison Square Garden because 
if, if if you know you've been saying the memes where it say like if if blinds was a person and mm-hmm. this person if can't get right was a person I'm about to James it Dolan. Might be, it'd be if, James Dolan. Be James right? Dolan this right? <laughs> it, it, the, the Knicks are one of the most viable franchises in sports in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in the world. But they just cannot seem to get right with their fans, their former well, players. Wait, wait, wait. Don't say them. He can't get right with the <laughs> I mean, he he's I mean, them right now. He is them, and they are he. he is I was about to say. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, for those who do not know, uh, the other night, Tuesday night, I believe it was, Spike Lee had a situation. Spike Lee has been a Knicks fan Forever. for over 40, 50 years. He's, he spoke about going to games back in the early 70s with his father, then his teenage years, having to actually sneak into uh, – MSG. Into MSG, it was, to just, catch it was the just the garden. It was just the garden, and to be where the play, at the place he has ne- at now, all the success in the entertainment world, he's able to afford courtside seats for thirty years. For thirty, 30 years. years, and uh, he pays he pays about uh, uh, damn, nice. damn near four hundred thousand for a pair of tickets per to season. See. They broke it down to what about ten million? About ten million. million. Oh, little, 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 little it's over, over ten million, million. over over that. Sp- over that lifespan of so 30 So Spike years. Lee went to, he's been using the same entrance, he said, 33rd Street. I'm very familiar with the entrance because it is the entrance that media and employees go to. I've covered two games in Madison Square Garden. Those two games, I went through the entrance on 33rd Street. So line up because it is. It's media coming through. It's empl- all the employees. So mm-hmm. whether it's an Airmark employee, everybody comes through that door. Spike Lee. And it's a very comfortable atmosphere, though. You go through the metal detectors twice. Once you get in, though, you're kind of in a big lobby. They help escort you up. So I could understand why Spike said that's where he's been going. He doesn't mm-hmm. go through the VIP celebrity entrance. I think he said it's on 35th Street or 36th Street. Like 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, he said it was like four blocks away. Or yeah, he like said he, he, he doesn't use that entrance. Exactly. He goes what? entrance on 33rd. Um, he was he scanned, he had his ticket scanned. And what you get scanned, you can't come the game. They were actually playing the Rockets that night, I believe, right? Yep. They played they were playing the Rockets. So a pretty big game for Knicks fans. They get to see James Harden and Russell Westbrook go against the Rockets. And the Knicks actually came out with a victory in the game. Surprisingly enough. Like, they actually came out with a victory, but uh Spike Lee was was asked after he got his ticket scanned that he had to get off the elevator and <laughs> Exit the building mm-hmm. and come through another entrance. Now Spike said he felt that was a little funny, and we all know as we media members and as fans, once your ticket scanned, it's you scanned. can't it's come not, back it's, in. It's not no, I'm gonna go to the car and get this yeah, and nah. come back nah, in. You not, in, that, you that, in. <laughs> so Spike said he already felt like something fishy was going on, um, and he was telling security he wasn't going to get off the elevator. And I, and I ain't mad at Spike. He said he put his hands behind his back and said, "Me like oh yeah, y'all gonna lock me up like my brother Charles Oakley." <laughs> Like, <laughs> Y'all gonna take me out like this, so and, might well. and, and then finally, security that he was familiar with came to him. They escorted him up through the escalate uh, elevator. Excuse me, explained to him that it was a new rule. All of a sudden, uh, they they didn't want him coming through the door. He went to his seat. He still caught the game. He said he really wasn't even going to speak about the situation. Uh, until his son kind of mentioned like that, you need to say something. Uh, the Knicks kind of looked bad too because yeah. evidently Spike Spike was saying, you know, hey, I've been going through coming through the same door for thirty three years, right, wrong, or indifferent. Even if I wasn't, I was never given a notification that hey, it's a new rule, you can't come here. He said nobody if, ever if, said don't if, do that. If, if, if it's season ticket. Uh, 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 payments or two days late. He said he get an email, email text, phone text call, call <laughs> carrier pigeon, pick him. But he couldn't get a call on this. And uh, next owner James Dolan, and a, and a matter it may have been a, a publicity stunt. It was a picture taken. James Dolan supposedly went over. Peace and blessings, young player. Uh-huh. James Dolan went over to Spike and he he shook his hand to make it seem like he was Shaking having a conversation real. with Spike. Yeah, and they were on the same page, and that wasn't the case at all. Where do you gentlemen stand with the Knicks? Spike Lee went to ESPN. He went on first takes, spoke to his man Stephen A. Spoke with Max and Molly and let him know he's done with the Knicks for the rest of the season. You got some Brooklyn Nets fans who are saying, "Spike, come on home." Come Reg, join, Reggie come, Miller told him, "Come on, <laughs> come, hey, you come from join Brooklyn? the Nets. From come Brooklyn. to the Barclay." He said, "But the Barclay Center is about somewhere between two and four blocks away from his forty acres and a mule yeah, uh, like office. It's not, it's not, it's close. Not, it's not not far at all compared to going to Madison Square. Are the Knicks going to get it right? Is James Dolan going to get it right? And is it time for Spike to take his loyalty to Brooklyn?" 
I mean, <clears throat> it was he like, yes, but he's not going to do it. He went, he went down the long laundry list of why he's a Knicks fan. So I can't see him just up jumping ship. Now, he, you know, so he can be a fan of, you know, of Brooklyn. He can still go to the games and, you know, until James Dolan does something, which I don't see that happening because he kicked out some fans last night. Cause they told him to sell the team, and he kicked them out. Yeah. Like, bro, you can't just go keep kicking people out the arena because they want you to sell the team. He said, this is his house. I mean, he's going to tell me to sell my house and bro, stay in my house. But, like, I mean, true, but you terrible. You are the worst <laughs> owner in sports. Nah, that's debatable. Who's worse than him? Buddy from the Redskins is pretty bad, too. I'll tell you, Daniel Snyder, he just, he just messes up trying to get in football business. Uh, what's his name? Dolan yeah, is Dolan a little worse than Dolan, Snyder. Dolan worse than Snyder. Snyder ain't far behind. But yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, it's, they raise it from one and two, but uh, <laughs> Snyder is like a, a, a long just You know, he's not as close to number one as, as uh, D- James Dolan. Because we had Donald Sterling, he was terrible. Oh, he was the worst. And James Dolan is just right here. You know, what I'm saying it's like one A, one B, picky poison. Who, who, who you hate worse? So yeah, you you're, you're, you're terrible to your former players. They don't like you. And you got you got uh, your employees scared to talk to people because they scared they might get fired. So what am I supposed to do? No free agents wants to come there for real because they see how you treat players. And no free, you, free agents ever really wanted to go to New York. And because of James Dolan and his daddy, they've been terrible since terrible. You're right. So Charles Logan made a good point. He ain't got to sell to the NBA can do something about it because you can't be the biggest market in sports and your team is trash. Repeatedly for outside of what the mellow years, that man. I love mellow, but it them Those years weren't they great. Were, yeah, they I'm just, I'm just saying, them first, first round, round exits. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying, at least make, <laughs> Those, make the playoffs. At least I'm saying, it was a phenomenal. I was, I'm saying, yeah. outside of, okay, outside of the 54 win season, let's go there. Outside of the 54 win season, what else has the Knicks done in 20 years? Made the finals in '99. That's, that's only because, well, I mean, and that was because of the short, well, not it was the lockout season because of the lockout, 98, 98-99. The Knicks aren't gonna get it right until you sell the team. Uh, it's, it's with sports, we all know this when you in your franchise, it all starts at the top, owner down. Yep, like look at the most successful teams in sports. The Clippers, Steve Ballmer, one of the, he's a great owner. The Lakers, the, the legend Lakers. Jerry, Jerry Buss. You know what I'm saying? Like Rest even in peace. even in in baseball, like Stein, 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 when, when the Braves were going through that streak, Ted Turner, Ted Turner. Was, the, was the owner. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like it's, it's Robert Kraft in New England. Robert, Robert Kraft. Kraft, New England. Like it, I was well in the nineties. I would say Jerry, Jerry Jones. Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jerry Jones. still Jerry 90s. Jones because <laughs> ain't no way in the hell any other team that habitually goes seven and nine, eight and eight. It's going to be able to be like it's going, relevant. It's going to be Front able to, to be relevant <laughs> every <laughs> year because that boy is the that boy the Don King of sports. He's definitely every Don King. Of, year. Uh, every football. year people think it's the Cowboys year. Yeah, that's true. They be like, this is this is we gonna do you it. They're gonna do and they'll go eight and eight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, this, this a year they're going eight and eight, eight and eight, seven and nine, eight and eight, eight nine and eight. seven. Yeah, 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 that's lose the last game to go into the playoffs. <laughs> well, it's, 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 no matter what you do, no matter how or go, or go to the playoffs and lose in the first round. But the Knicks is like it's it's been an organization full of dysfunction as long as I can remember. Even in the Ewan days, it, it seemed like it was dysfunction. And that was when it, <clears throat> you did. That's because you that, had you. We got our native New Yorker. How you feeling about yeah. it? H, you know what I'm saying. Well, hey, 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 how hey, they feel about it in the Bronx right, right. now? How they how they in feel the about it? What's going on? <laughs> Tell talk to us what. Uh, so native New York every, is the same, but you know the about it. You, know, you can't force him to sell the you team. Can't, yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. You like they forced Donald Sterling to sell the team, but that was over. Yeah, like, yeah, some yeah. Other reasons. Yeah, he was out here being crazy. Racist. Yeah, <laughs> like he was a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> James Dolan is just a horrible owner. He is terrible. James, it's like, hey man. Spike, we standing with you. Knicks fans, y'all need to boycott. The only way to actually make a, a true they, move they is they in the pockets. They made a little progress yesterday. They had first. The worst seller, I mean, worst Yeah, but I like, I like what Stephen A said this morning, though. But they still, they was highlighting and showing a whole lot of black celebrities that was in, 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 and in, in the stands get, yeah. all of a sudden. Like, that's not, that's, it's not a race thing. Stephen A said, I ain't never seen that many black people on, on Nick's cam or whatever, like, and it, <laughs> the day of my it's, life. It's not, like, it's not listen, a race thing. But I bet you if, if uh, Spike don't renew them season tickets, I bet they have something to say to him. 
Yeah, but Spike yeah, could get a better show in Brooklyn with Durant and Kyrie sure, next year for sure, damn sure. We'll talk about that off air. Yeah, I got yeah, something to yeah, say about that too. But get, you know, a, <clears throat> I mean, he'll get a he, better show at the I Barclays. Think, I mean, it's, it's nicer. Well, it's a nice arena. Have you been to Barclays? Yeah, yeah, I've been to Barclays. I don't think it's a nicer arena. No, oh, I don't man. know. It's gonna the be guard is still the guard. Listen, man, look, Barclays cool. Spike bro. gotta Spike gotta take my saying. You can be a fan, but don't be no fool. Be a fan, but we ain't no fools. And Spike, hey man, you know. W A. We all everybody knows he is the ambassador of the Knicks. For the Knicks. He's checking in his movies, do the right thing. And then they sorry. Like, I wish the Falcons would treat me like this. Like you somebody who did somebody some executive said, Well Spike Lee is terrible job. Y'all can let him come through the roof if he wants to. He can do what he wants. <laughs> He's the only fan that constantly goes and supports Listen, y'all. Look. And reps y'all like y'all gonna win this fi- the finals this season. He, Spike he, wanna, he's to the next with Jerry Jones and to the Cowboys and he don't own the team. That's <laughs> like the if, biggest if, spokesperson. If Spike wanted next. to throw the tip at the beginning of the game, you let him. <laughs> if Spike wants to walk on the court during the middle of the game, who gonna say something to him? <laughs> That's the thing though. He like, can take a shot during the game and like, then count the points for him. <laughs> Dog, nah, so I was watching uh, Stephen A. He was talking about D, uh, somebody from D Wade's camp was like, Spike was recruiting for the Knicks. Like, he worked for him. He, he, he in the lobby of D Wade Hotel, just like, yo, you gonna come to the Knicks or what? <laughs> like, what? He, does, he does everything but get paid for them, pretty much. He is, the, he shame, is the Drake. So. He is the Drake yeah, there, to Toronto. There, the, the, he was Drake before Drake. Yeah, was, I'm saying, a, like, and, in that class. Yeah, cause cause of Spike. Yeah, yeah cause Spike's of Spike. Name, 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 uh, Icon name. He, out there. He's the Snoop Dogg and Jack Nicholas of the Lakers. And they, like it's them. They 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 well, Jack, outside of Jack. Jack, Jack, yeah, Jack. Be, him and Jack, Jack, Jack probably. Jack might be preferred because Jack was there at eighty two in eighty one. <laughs> Jack, Jack but Spike first. came in eighty four. Yeah. So they wasn't yeah. for, they wasn't they too far, far behind. behind. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. They wasn't too far behind. Yeah, and, and Spike look, Spike, Spike, Spike started. Spike off is in a thirty for thirty about sports. And they blamed him for Reggie Miller going off on them. They blamed him. I mean, Reggie blamed Spike. So Re- Reggie said it was well, Spike. He said it's your fault. It's your fault. Scotty Pippen told him to sit his ass down, right? He did. He did say that. So, you know, yeah, he yeah. Been he, a, oh, but these, these are the things we remember about the Knicks. Nobody talks about you and John Mr. Starks. We don't care about John nobody Starks. Nobody said about, about uh, Patrick Ewing missing a layup for them to go to the finals, right? You know? In that 30 for 30, it ends with Patrick Ewing missing the layup. But what we talk about is Reggie Miller going off because Spike was popping off. Yeah, and he holding Cho sign and yeah. Dog, oh, you he is more iconic than 90% of the players who ever played for the Knicks. Actually 95, but what holes say about the Yankees? Made the made the Yankee hat more famous than, than the Yankee, Yankee did. Then mm. he ain't lying. What we talk about here? And James Dolan, come on, man. James Dolan, man, get it together. We know you sell the team. Sell the team, man. Get it together. Sell the team. Ain't nobody trying to see this. But you mentioned you could be a fan or a fool. No, well, you can be a fan, but not a fool. Both, both, both people will be getting a treat this weekend on Sunday mm. because the Los Angeles Lakers and Los Angeles Clippers will be battling again. That uh, uh, schedule game, man. No, that's no, 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 yeah, this, this, this is a regular one. This is a regular one. Yeah, the, res- the rescheduled game will actually be the same night, I believe, as the national championship. Because mm. mm. that's why the Lakers play. The Lakers will be on the back, the back, the back. It'll be the first. It's something like the first time that it'll actually be to a professional event going on the same night <coughs> of the national championship. So I bet the, the Lakers and the Clippers play uh, the same night as the national championship. But this Sunday, we'll get treated to LeBron versus Kawhi. Or Deion Waiter, Deion Waiters versus Lou Williams. Hey. <laughs> we'll get we'll get to logo see the, 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 the the battle of yeah, LA. One three point from three from logo night logo LeBron. Like the Lakers, LeBron. as we, as I mentioned, they did just sign Deion Waiters, so Deion Waiters will be added uh, to the lineup. We'll see what, what what he'll be able to bring to the team. Somebody Things didn't end quite well uh, for him in, in Miami, but I'm quite sure he'll be looking to resurrect his season, and he's out there with a chance to, to actually win a chip. He's on a contender, so we'll see how that benefits. I also believe Rob Palenka used to be his agent, or him mm-hmm. and Rob Palenka mm-hmm. had some ties. So, 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 you know, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. I might be I might be uh, ignorant to this point. Did Dion and LeBron ever play together in Cleveland? Yeah, yeah, follow okay. yeah, yeah, okay. okay. yeah, okay. up. Okay. 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 That's so why everybody been on this they're, they're, familiar, they're familiar with each other as well, so that, that okay. that's that's a good people look. Like, I can't take two people who ain't gonna pass the ball. This exactly. that's, and that's what everybody <laughs> fell to realize. Oh, him and LeBron played together. Yeah, for a month, LeBron got traded. So well, I mean, but then and then he but when, after he did get traded, he did go on a little bit of a run though, and he did show that he has some talent. Brian probably was like, all right, I I, I think I might need hey, you. Man, we got to make sure he's instead of Iman Shumpert. 
Well, I Listen, mean, he gonna I, be out there with the dispenser. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what well, we see. We see the Lakers getting a whole lot of Philly and and, and, and they line up and whatnot. But I'm looking forward to see the the, the battle with the Morris twins. As we'll get to see Markeith and Marcus go against each other when the Lakers and Clippers uh, battle each other. They only try to score each other, but they always do. Give me some predictions for this game. What what, what are we going to see out of LeBron and the Kawhi matchup? And who's going to win? Dylan, if you want to chime in as well, we'll be able to pick you up and, and hear what you got going on. You you can throw your you know your your, your valuable information in as well. B, what, what, we'll start with you for this for this segment. What will the battle of LeBron and Kawhi look like, and who you got in that one? Well, overall stats probably LeBron. Overall stats as always because he dominates the ball more. But I say Kawhi probably has thirty easy like he always does on LeBron because LeBron not guard him. We know that because he probably guards him, but ten percent. So now are we probably going, we're going to see uh, Markeith guarding Kawhi? They're going to be throwing uh, different bodies Green. at him. Markeith can't guard Kawhi, but yeah, they'll probably put him on him. And, yeah, and Markeith, my guy, but he might get get some work on him. So Kawhi's probably going to have 30. Easy. Clippers will probably get the dub because you still have nobody to guard Lou on their team and Juan Trez. So, and they have, the Clippers have more dogs. And Reggie Jackson might be a difference maker in this game too. I think Reggie Jackson might be a difference maker. So, I'm going with the Clips. Clip City. Chipsy. 30 for Brian, 30 for Kawhi, but the Clip City win? Yeah, and I mean, if AD and Brian go off, if they get 55, 60 in that range, you can still win. That's fine. I'll take 20, 20, 20, 20 coming from Trez, Lou, Paul, and Kawhi. So we would get one of the <coughs> other points from, from the Clippers, I mean from the Lakers. So that's that would be a problem right there. And my and Mark can get, get you a quiet 15, 20, easy. So they have more dogs, they have more scores. Going to Clippers. Who you like in this matchup, Mr. Armstrong? Um, I'm going to go with the Lakers. I mean, honestly, we, do we even know if everybody going to play for the Clippers? Because, you know, they load managing their way through the season. So, Hey, man, they've been, they've been balling these, these last five games. They've been putting people on, on stranglehold on defense. They're getting they, – they ain't doing – they're not playing back-to-backs. I don't think they got any back-to-backs going, going on for the rest of the season, I don't think. Ah, uh, I feel like no, I I feel like they might have two more. Oh, two more. Okay, well, if they got two more, that's okay. Who cares? I feel like they might have two more. <laughs> we'll see. They, but, they're definitely playing on Sunday. You can book it. They're playing on Sunday. I mean, hey, we'll see. Come on, sitting down. Either way it go, I got the Lakers. Okay. I think I think AD and Bron are kind of going to take this one personal because I feel like it's a lot of chitter chatter. A lot of people talking about, oh, they're the best team in LA. Yada yada yada. They got more dogs. I think they're going to try to come out and prove a point. You say they might, 65, you can still win. What happens if they both, get, if they combine for 75, 80? You can still win. <laughs> okay, 75, 80, 20, 20, 20, 20. They ain't, they ain't going to put up like a buck 20 on them, buck 30, 40. What they been doing the last two games against them? <laughs> yeah, not buck 40. I'm just saying 20, 20, 20, that's 80. And this goes 75, so that's still beat you. I mean, you, look, <laughs> they got ancillary pieces. Danny Green, he'll give you 12, 13. Maybe. Possibly. More, uh, the, the uh, Markeith, he'll give you 10. Tw- okay, his brother will. I was, okay, his brother give you Avery 15. Avery Bradley will give you 10. And Reggie Jackson give you 10, 15. How? <laughs> if if all them people give 20, 20, 20, 20. They have it, another it's night. It's only one ball. <laughs> it happened another night. It happened all, all that over 20 points. And then Marcus had 12 to 14. Reggie had like 10 to 12. And they smacked, uh, well, they didn't smack, they, they beat uh, Philly. Anybody have a Philly trash? So that's, 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 <laughs> well, they, well, they trash on the road at home. These Absolutely. fools, these fools are the seven three, seven three nine Warriors. Warriors. That's fact. Even even without uh, and being in Simmons right now, Dylan. What, what what are your thoughts, man? Chime in and let us know. What are your thoughts on this upcoming matchup on Sunday? So I agree that LeBron and AD gonna come out. It's gonna be personal to them because they've been hearing all the noise, like you saying about you know LA being the best team, how they haven't beaten any good competition, even though they just beat Philly not too long ago, but they haven't beaten any real competition yet. So I think LeBron and AD gonna take it personal, but I still think the Clippers are just too not too deep, but I think they're deeper enough uh, than the Lakers. So I think I think I think the Clippers gonna take it. Clippers gonna take it out. Yeah. I'm going with the Clip City in, in this game as well. Sorry, I just, I'll be long wolf. I, uh, I love love my Lakers, of course, but I just I, same what you said. I just feel like it, it's too many 
pieces being thrown together on the Lakers right now. They still got to build a chemistry. The Clippers got to build a chemistry too. Don't get me wrong with all the yeah, missing they, they pieces. Playing, that, that playing well right But now. the core to me, like, if Lou is clicking, if Kawhi is clicking, if Trez is clicking, anything else that they get from a Reggie Jackson, a Paul George, even who's a superstar talent, is – just that is an addition, an additional yeah. help. I feel like AD and LeBron do. They have to have one of those pieces has and, to have a big Bron, game. And Bron, and we've already know how it goes. LeBron sits down. They go from the second offensive team to the 29th. They go from good to filthy. Well, as they go from good to the Knicks or the worst. <laughs> so they go from they go from a great offense to the Knicks to the <laughs> to the Hawks like. Well, yeah, they're you're go not going to disrespect the Hawks, gentlemen. The Hawks score more than score more efficiently. Than the okay, Knicks, right? the Hawks without Trey on the floor. All right, there we, we can say that. Yeah. The Hawks yeah. without Trey on the yeah. floor. Yeah, Trey like, Lee. Yeah, Trey Lee. One of the turnovers. historically worst offenses if it was like per thirty. Yeah. What'd you say about thirty-one points a night, Trey Young? Uh, yeah, and I also see what six turnovers, five, six turnovers. Yeah, turnovers? and they're also the the worst defense in the league with him on the field court. So I mean, yeah. know, he's he, the worst he, defender in basketball. We both all we've said that. Uh, and they're the, the worst defender in basketball. They're the six. They actually, he's the third worst. Oh, but they're, they're, top five. they're the <laughs> top five, top five, top five. They're the the six best defense with him off the court. But you know, hmm. we ain't gonna talk about that. Trey haters. Uh, no, because uh, 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 listen. <laughs> Numbers never lie. Uh, uh, well, we Man. shall see, and we'll see Sunday with the Lakers and the Clippers, but we see uh, Luca's biggest fan over here is a little excited. You say Luca, and eyes perk up, but... Luca! The, uh, we listen, right. we'll y'all be better right. defensively with y'all him. Y'all weren't right. Y'all, what, what was y'all right about? Who going to the playoffs? Y'all know this Atlanta, right? It's like black people here. I don't care. No, you keep talking to me about You, just, you talk about culture. I'm talking about wins. <laughs> we want wins. We don't care about the culture. Way better pieces. Uh, hey, hey, hey. We're not talking about the pieces, okay? You got to talk about those. We got to talk about the pieces. Listen, hey, that's... Get, but so, but so we, we're going we're gonna to dive into that because Luca and Christoph Porzingis looked very good together last night. They, 30, they did. 30. They, they, they did. They, they, they 30, 30. They Zion and Luca going they, against they, each other. They, they, they looked very good last night. A very entertaining matchup. It was. Uh, the Pelicans Shout versus, versus, that boy versus the Mavericks. Hit the, the tray ball in the corner. They're taking it in overtime. The Pelicans are going to be all right. They're going to be all right. But the Dallas Mavericks have looked good. Uh, you know, there's nothing negative to say about Luka and, and his performance. Rookie of the year, of course, last year. And he's putting up triple doubles in, in, in a way where they're not they're not 10-point triple doubles. They're not 20-point triple, triple doubles. doubles. It's 30 points, good. 15 rebounds, 17 assists, shit like that. So Luka's for sure putting up numbers. That, I won't argue with y'all there. I just I will never feel like he was a better fit in Atlanta more than Trey Young. I just don't. That's, you know, that's neither here nor there. I, this. Like, I bet the Hawks be more global. I bet they yeah, had, I, I bet mean, they had more wins. They 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 That's would fact. they would they would be more global. To, uh, I, I I mean yeah. Uh, you had more eyeballs watching Hawks and watching. I don't think that. I don't think it'd be more eyeball. I think I think like the Hawks. Was but if, if 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 we look at it just real quick, if, the Hawks have like the worst record in the NBA, but they're on Sports Center every day. I mean that's because of Trey Young. You know what I'm saying like. That's like I mean the Wizards on sports in every day too, not, but that's because Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal's going forty-five not, they're a night. Not, they're not. They're, they are not. They're literally like I watch ESPN all day every day. We do too. I'm just, no, Even no, at no, work. No, no, no. Trey Young ass is on. Get up. Then first take. Then Sports Center. Then these nutmegging niggas and they cats getting upset. But they losing. I'm, that's fine. That's so fine. you want to be on there just for highlights? That's no, you I'm, I'm just saying. Like we said, you you said eyeballs, and I feel like. Cats are paying attention to the Atlanta Hawks because of Trey Young. Cats what is be, that resulting in? It's resulting in money at the end of the day. That's what I mean. If, if we really being real, if we if we being real, gentlemen, the Mavs ain't winning shit. They can win all these little cute ass regular season games, <laughs> and they ass is gonna get to the playoffs, and they're going bye bye. So Luca and Trey can go on vacation together when the finals come about, because the Mavericks ain't gonna be there neither. What do you say they would? So 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 that's number one. Number two. He's mad. No, I'm, we be, we talking Luca and Trey. We talking Luca and Trey. Y'all, we we talking. Yeah, okay. So Luca has the Rookie of the Year award. That's cool as well. He's putting up a few uh, a few triple doubles. That's fine. But you either winning the chip in the NBA or the owners are making the the, the profit line, bottom line, or whatnot. The Hawks were just in Forbes. Outside of the LA Lakers, do you know the number one attraction for celebrities where they come? Atlanta. They come to State Farm Arena. They not going to Madison Square Garden, but I'm, that's what it that's what it boils down I'm, to. Um, Nipsey all, said it that's, best. That's, that's gross. That's cool. Here's that's my thing. I'm gross. All, I'm it's all Trey Young. Here's my thing. That. that ain't getting you nothing. If, if two chains come to the game, 
Who cares? The, the hawks well, care. That's, that's a saying. different. That's, that's a different story. That's what I'm saying. The hawks care. Like we we argue well, two different I, things. No, you say eyeballs. Eyeballs. No, are that's what he said. The, I said the money. That. I'm talking about. I'm talking about dubs. Then and I think Luca will get us more dubs. I think we will be further along with Luca than and we I'm are not, with And I'm Trey. not arguing that point. But when I'm asking, we okay. So we just per se say we, say we win 33 games instead of 17, right? When we get to the playoffs, what dubs is Luca bringing? His ass is still going home in this. We don't first. know that. Come on, dog. We don't know. We don't know where they're gonna fall at. We don't know what they can fall to. They can are they gonna beat? Can they beat the Bucks? Can they beat the Bucks? With Luca, you just take Trey off, put Luca on these Hawks right now. Are they beating the Bucks? Wait, is he put the? You put no. Thank you. I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they're beating the Raptors. I'm just saying, like. Like, <laughs> no, well, they're not. So that, that's but, my only argument. But Luke, Luke, I'm, talking about, better, I'm talking about. I'm talking Luke about. putting up better numbers in a I'm five year span. That. In a five year span, unless Trace decides to start playing defense and stop being lazy on defense, they just going. They going with Steph um, Curry. We don't you, have. We don't have a defender to do that him. with him. Huh. We we will. We don't have a Clay Thompson. But they but they're they they do. They have a Cam Reddish and they have a DeAndre Hunter. And Kevin Herter, I, uh, I see him getting. Y'all giving me a whole bunch of he he gonna develop it, he gonna develop it, he gonna develop. But these people have developed <clears throat> on the Mavericks. So like we're not looking at Luca is doing phenomenal, but he is on a team full of veterans. He isn't on a team where the average age is twenty one years old. He's just not. I'm just like so. Is I mean the, 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 the okay the he don't have he doesn't. Trey Young does not have a Christoph Porzingis. You don't like, got a Tim Hardaway. <laughs> like, let's stop. We're not, we not going to just like shit on John Collins. Like, I mean, I love John. I think John is a phenomenal player. John missed 26 games. Like, let's and, Lou, and Christoph missed two years. Christoph an all-star? Because he's playing in New York. Is he an all-star? Is yep. he a franchise player? Kyle Cole's an all-star. Is he a franchise player? Or Kyle was he a Cole, franchise player? Kyle, he was. John Collins is not that. He's a great player. He may be an all-star talent eventually. He's not he a franchise player. He would have an all-star this year. Maybe he would have been one this year. Maybe I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think the Hawks could have had two All Stars with that record. So I don't know about no. that. That's what, that's what mean, they were, they were <laughs> have more wins. But so I don't. I don't ever want to argue, gentlemen. Luca is a phenomenal talent, and y'all y'all were right on that aspect. We I don't know. think, but I don't. I just can't see Luca fitting in. With, get that you talk about the matters, culture, but that, I'm not talking that, about it. That. Matters. It matters. It matters. It, 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 well it does. Good. It matters. We not having no Quavo night with Luca here. We not. We not we not having no quick. I mean, night with and I'm fine with that. Be honest but, with you. But we but the Hawks need that. They from from that perspective. See, they were nah, the here's worried the thing. About the wrong, they were about the wrong things. Maybe. They, they the were they worried about getting people. The rabbits come to the games and all that. Who cares? Well, all that helped attract free agents too, though. It, facts. First, once again, I'm gonna tell you now. So the first we, we got the longest with them. They ain't come for that. <laughs> and I can tell you. I'm going to tell you now. They are not coming because Quavo comes to the basketball game. Because we got like 70 million coming up. And they still ain't coming. <laughs> we ain't finna get no big name free agents. We going to get somebody. I mean, it's not no big name. Nah, if, if the person who I sent to. We going to get. I mean, you can throw that name out there. If, his if, name, if, if, his if name Tra- has been thrown. You yeah, can, if Trez come out here, I'll be fine with that. You can tra- you get Trez, you can flip Clint. You can flip Clint. Oh, they ain't gonna flip Clint. They they putting stock. You high? Clint. What you no, doing? I'm saying you can flip him. And I can get somebody else. But we'll, we we will dive into the hard. We'll talk about that. We talk about yeah. Luca against. But I do want to ask you, gentlemen, because again, I'm giving Luca his prize. He's been balling out. It just, it can't my only my only beef with Luca, or, or you know, in our beef is just I don't feel like he would have fit here. That's my only. He would have fit here on the on the basketball court for sure. Boy, like that I, that, boy, that boy. That's that's for sure. He would have fit He's in on the basketball court. And I, I only say that because of his size. Like I feel like no, he, he has one thing. I on. feel like he his would talent be, shows he can play any any in any for any team. I don't so that I didn't. Like I, I just feel like because Trey is so slight, is that's why we're not very good defensively. And he'll get bigger. He'll like uh, you know I've I've thrown this out to y'all and my man Stephen Jackson who y'all, he threw it out there a former a, a former NBA player. We love Luca. Luca came from playing professional basketball. I mean, when you talk about his size, but like, that's not that's, he, it's, that's not it's a, no fault. A slight, it's, like, it's just a fact. It's a, he he came from Trey. Got to get that. That's Trey like Ronald, that's like Ronald Acuna. Are we going to penalize him? No, it's no penalty, but it's a fact. It's just it's a it's a fact. Cause we say, damn, she got a fat ass naturally, or she got a fat ass from Doctor Surgeon. You know what I'm saying? Like Doctor so Surgeon made, made that. Made, who? Kobe did too. He played on season. Hey, but Kobe, Kobe didn't. Uh, Kobe played high school American basketball. Like like the. No. 
And Kobe, and you, play, and you playing with your, but Kobe too though. Kobe, but you also have to. You also Kobe had the, the the size to play in the NBA at high school. He did. That's why he went. Trey Young. Trey Young is very frail. He's he is he's not Luca. Luca what six nine six eight six nine six six, 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 six seven, okay six, okay seven two. But he, he he's he's a he's a brash but, young but, man. But the thing I said, he always will have something that Trey never have. Trey never getting Trey never getting six seven ever. That, that's he's true. He's done growing. He's gonna be my height. <laughs> that's okay. true. And pulling up from thirty is cool until you figure out that. Sixty-five percent of the times you don't make that, and then you on a long rebound, and you on the other, you the only defender on the other side of the court, and you giving up layups. I see. Well, I just I, his game. His game will grow. His game will grow, and, and we'll see what it does there. But Luca and Kristoff had the opportunity to be one of the top duos that we may have ever seen in the they NBA. Got bit, they got a little ways to go. Now, now Mark Cuban, no, I'm potential. I'm just saying they potential. They, 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 I might, may, it may be better. Because be better of, be I think they will be better. Because of be better. The, the height factor and everything. Mark Cuban said he wants to keep these two together yes, for, 20 for, yeah. 20 for 20 years. For 20 years. He said 20, 20 years. <laughs> I hope they get that vet minimum at the end of the 20. I mean, he spends that money. so he is a free agent destination. He does spend that money. He does spend money. And when you talked about... We didn't talk about him like, he's a good he's, great he's, owner he's, he's, he's he, a great owner you mentioned global do I think the Hawks should be global I think it was uh, phenomenal for Luca to go to Dallas because they already had a kind of like foreign mm -hmm. international with appeal with look at Dirk, this with look Dirk at Dirk this former there. stars Steve Nash he's from Canada mm -hmm. you know, Dirt. Dirt. He ain't, you know, German, Germany. Yeah, Germany. Germany. Like, you know, you got you Germany they, slash the hood, because you know it's white yeah, black. Hey, yeah, like, she bad. Bad. And, and, and she bad. And she bad. She could. Because it's built for the game. We, we knew Dirk was black when he came to the game with, with the aluminum foil on, on, on the plate. I said, right there, Dirk is black. He cool with me. <laughs> He's cool with me. And he listens to rap music. I be hearing him like, you see him in like a room. Rapping rap songs. I say, yep. Hey. Dirk, Dirk, and also, and Dallas is becoming like a transit city. Yeah. Yeah. So, do, do, what I wanted to ask you, gentlemen, before I started going into my trade yeah, rant, what I wanted to ask you, gentlemen, do you feel like Luca and and Porzingis can be that next one too? That I don't want to say Mike and Scotty, but up in on those ranks, the Mike and Scotties, the Dwayne Wade's and Lebrons, the Kobe and Shaq, or or, or, or Shaq and Penny, <coughs> however you want to look at, do you feel like this duo has an opportunity to go down as? Some of the best that we've seen. If they can stay healthy, they can. One, yeah, one health. If they can stay healthy. Two, um, coaching. I, I think Rick, uh, Rick Carlisle is, is one of the best coaches in the NBA right now. But we see that his play call is different. Like when Luca's not there, Chris Stapp's going for 30, 35, 40. Yeah, he, and he, I'm he like, coaches, he coaches who's playing. Right. But I'm like, you got to. Is still instill some of that when Luca's there. Like you still got to feature Chris Stapps a little bit because I think it's the same thing with Cam Reddish. I think once you feature Chris Stapps on offense, the rest of his game. Yeah, five lot. blocks last night. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like 34, 34, 12, and, and yeah. five. Yeah. Number yeah. ain't been put up since Shaq. Yeah, <laughs> like Honestly. you, you see, you see the difference when you involve somebody on offense and they feel like they're supposed to be involved. Yeah, you, like you see when Cam is involved on offense and and, and Lloyd is is calling plays for him. You see, on defense, he is a monster on defense. Mm -hmm. But when he's not, he is lazy that's, and does not pay any attention on defense. That's, that's most. That's, I ain't that's never seen somebody get so many back cuts on them in my life. That's but uh, but you can't blame. He's he's not involved in the game. He's just running the floor. He's out there for the cardio. So it's like. Like I said, what the white used to do. Just run there looking he stupid. just out there for the cardio. <laughs> so I think if, if Rick can – Keep Chris Stapps involved and keep him engaged. I think they can be a hell of a duo. One of the best in the NBA, right? And they will be a free agent destination. Cause look, people got, love to go to Dallas. They love to go to Dallas. People go, love to go to Dallas. You got a good owner who, who no, is, no, uh, no state owner, income tax. No, 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 no state, yeah, no state income tax. And you have a player's owner. Yeah, yeah you got a player's he owner. He's gonna fight for you. He's gonna fight for you. He's gonna get he'll get text. He's he the only will. Owner to get he text. will. He'll uh, get text and everything. Another thing is I think they're just a couple pieces away. I like Tim Hardaway Jr. I do. I, do too. I think I do too. I they think got they're, a nice team. I think they're they a real a nice big team. away. Like a real big yeah. and like a bench away. Didn't they have they had De they, they had, had De DeAndre, if they would have kept, kept DeAndre. Like I mean, if you go out and you get somebody like um a Jared Allen, a rim protector. Like get Rudy Gobert. Yeah, I'm about to say if you can if you can somehow get Rudy <laughs> Gobert. They, they got they, they got their eye on somebody that's a seven foot monster who's in playing in Milwaukee. Yeah, Giannis ain't Giannis, yeah, Giannis ain't going, going to Golden State. So they can stop that. Yeah, Dallas, Miami is what teams I've been hearing. Yeah, they, yeah, Giannis going to Golden State. Yeah, what are, What are your thoughts about Luca and and and, and Porzingis? Can the, Can the unicorn and Luca 
Luca the Luca Stay the Don. Stay the test of time. Luca the Don. <laughs> the Don. Luca the Don. Uh, <laughs> I like that. The Don. <laughs> Luca the Don. That's the name. That's the name for me. Uh, no, nah, they they could be for real if, okay. if they stay healthy. Because you got, I mean, really two people who really can't guard. Because <laughs> Chris Office sits seven three. You got you got the new age Larry Bird and uh, <clears throat> Kareem if it, he can it, shoot three. Kareem, yeah, because Chris Office still seven three and he's shooting. He can really shoot from thirty. And you're not blocking his shot. If he wants to, and he's still not really fully healthy. So I think really, if he hit you with that turnaround, hey, what you gonna do? He foul. He's shooting at 11 feet in the air if he turn around. But I think next year is will be the year because he'll be he'll be a full calendar what, year, full what? calendar year back from from injury playing. And then Chris Olsen is still in 20 what 23, 24, mm-hmm. 24. And Lucas 20. Well, he just no, he just turned 21. He just turned 21. So you can really have these these two for the next I don't know about twenty years. I say twelve. I say about twelve. Yeah, I go say twelve between twelve and fifteen. You could probably you could probably may squeeze a championship out of them. You could squeeze two. You could probably squeeze two of them because I mean, if you look at the landscape of the, the West, like the powerhouse teams are older. Yeah, that's facts. I mean, outside of AD in in uh, LA, that team is old. Mm-hmm. If people want to look at that team is old. Braun is 60. Clipper, Clippers old. They're old Clippers team. old yep. too. Braun is 92 years. Kawhi 92 got, years old in basketball years. Kawhi got 65 year old legs. And Kawhi 65. <laughs> PG, he's not even 30. Well, he's about, His shoulders by PG 80. PG like 31. 30. No, PG, no, he's not the same age as me. I'm older than PG. PG's 30. PG like 28, 29. No, PG about 30. I feel like he recently turned 30. He, oh, he might be 29. Check, check, I think he might be like 28, 29. So, and Russ is 31. Well, 30, 31. James, 30. Steph over there. Steph, Steph over 30. Clay over 30. Draymond over 30. Who else in, in the whip? Dame is. Dame is 29. 29. CJ, 28. 28. So. Yeah, so the West is getting a lot older. The, the, the teams, the, the Dallas's, the OKC's, the Memphis's, those three teams will be like on the on the come PG, up. PG going to be 30 in May. Okay, so he turned thirty, so he, so he was here behind me. Then. <coughs> so those like don't seem like that, or will be the new way because they have the the young coming, the young guns. And Listen, they'll, Utah, they'll get, they'll get better. Utah young, because Rudy Gobert like twenty six, twenty seven. Uh, Dallas, uh, okay, New see, Orleans, New Orleans, yeah, New Orleans uh, is young. New Orleans yeah, definitely OKC, young. Sacramento if they can ever get right, they young and they I, have a good time. I, I think I think they'll be okay. I I don't like the I don't like the coaching hire. I um, like Luke, but Luke it's a lot of people who deserve jobs. We we'll go down that list mm-hmm. in a while. But Phil, um, <clears throat> I mean, Sam. Smart, Phil, Sam. I, it's it's a lot of people who deserve jobs. Who you know? The, they, what 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 they say? You you're fucking the pipeline up? <laughs> like, get out of the way. You in yeah. somebody way, Luke. But yeah, just still in the um, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of teams in the West that. They're not that good right now, but they're young. That's why they're not that good. The Hawks. Memphis, young. I mean, in the yeah, West, in the yeah, East. Yeah, the, the Hawks. And I'm, I'll be hating that with people. Oh, Trey needs help. Trey, Trey he got in his help. second they just year. Young. John's in his third year. Cam's a rookie. Ken, uh, Ken Let him Hurt grow. Soft, a sophomore. Let him grow. Uh, DeAndre's in the second year. You're going to have young. to make some money decisions with, with John in a minute. I mean, DeAndre's in the first year. Yeah, Cam and DeAndre, they in their first Gilbert year. Bruno in their first year. Bruno in the first year. Brandon Gilbert in the third. I like, mean, even Clint Capella, only what, 25, 26? Yeah, Clint 25, so he's what, fourth? And he got to get out on the court. For real? <laughs> he do. He got to get out on, on the court. Yeah, 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 yeah he can, yeah. He got to expand his game. He can't just be catching logs. And after that, you, you serve no purpose in, in the playoffs. I eat what happened in the playoffs last year. So are the Mavericks gonna make some noise and they get in the playoffs this year? Depends on the matchup. Yeah, depending on the play. They can take they can take somebody in six games. Cause Luca can win you too. And if Chris Tab get Chris hot. Was, matter of fact, don't fuck that. If they if they do what they supposed to do and if Tim get hot, you got you might have a problem. Cause when Tim a, get Tim is streaky. Seth yeah, Curry out there too now. It's a, it's a, and he had, and he got playoff experience. He, he was in played, the Western Conference Final with the, with the Blazers last year. He played well, you know. They got swept, but yeah, he played well. He, he played well. Decent, bro. <laughs> well so, I mean, Dame had what two broken ribs. <laughs> I was like, ah. So I mean, the Dallas has Justin Jackson. He's second year. He's he coming. He come along too. Mm-hmm. Dallas has. They have potential. To Memphis be gonna great. be good too. Memphis gonna be great. I like Memphis because I like John Morant because he. He's a dog. And he went at Tracy here too. Um, I bet. But 
Dallas definitely has, and I like Rick Carlisle. Rick Carlisle has always been an underrated coach to me because yeah. he puts, he puts, he coaches like he puts a lot on his players. Yeah, and a lot of players don't. Like but he's that. smart though, and he's smart, smart. Well, he came up on that Larry Bird tree. I, I'll say this: uh, speaking of coaching, uh, on the collegiate level, mm. we'll have a pretty big matchup that'll take place this weekend uh, as Coach Coach K and Coach Roy Williams will be bringing their young troops to battle as. Duke and North Carolina will be going at it one more game. A classic, classic matchup. I mean, we know some. We know somebody here in our in our trio who loves the Tar Heels, and it's been a long season. They 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 can't seem to. to it's, it's a hard. It's a rough go of it <laughs> to get right. <laughs> You've been looking good the last three games, though. You've been looking great the last three games. Cole Anthony is getting in the mix after an injury uh, early in the season. Kind of you know had him on the pine for a while. He had to get things rolling again. Now both teams have had. Uh, kind of funny, fishy losses as of recently. Duke has taken a few L's as of recently. North Carolina, their losses have been, yeah. <laughs> Heartbreaking. <laughs> Heartbreaking as well. What are, what are your expectations for this upcoming matchup this weekend between Duke and North Carolina on Saturday night? We're going to start with you, Mr. Tar Heel fan. Bro. I like I like, I like, I like Duke in this matchup, too. I'm going to go with the Dukies just to, just, to, just to mess with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not surprised. Just to mess with you. I'm not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Dukies in this one here. I'm not surprised. I mean... <clears throat> Should have won two weeks. I don't want to think about that. We should have won two weeks ago. That was y'all was up about 12, 13 points the entire game. Tricked we, it off. Tricked it, tricked off. it <laughs> off. Bro, if you if you go back and look at my my Twitter feed, I was just all you see numbers. I will count every free throw we were missing. Nine free throw. I was just and that game. Just, Cole Anthony was just stank. Maestro. I mean, he was the he was maestro he was most, in the game though. Boy, they were looking. Boy, that if final he like three that minutes. all season, we would have been a top five. <laughs> Well, what it, happened? A lot of free good, throws. did you? <clears throat> free throws. Free throws, and nobody can box out, and, and just little things that win your basketball game. Dang, little things. I that was watching like the game. I literally got up to go get some juice. I saw this over. It was three minutes left. I said, dude, I mean, North Carolina got this one. Got up to go get some juice. Went outside to the garage to, you know, check the – make sure the grass was cut and everything like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to make came sure the shrubbery – Came back in the house literally, literally six, seven minutes later, just knew the damn game was going to be off. It's still on TV. They in overtime. You remember, you remember <laughs> Like, what the hell like? didn't happen here? We're not going to bring that up because I was – I mean, I was, I was extremely – like, I was like – We have questions. I thought the grass was cut too low. I said, what the hell is going on here? Like, what the <laughs> – you know what I'm saying? Like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> You're not being a great friend right now, okay? I mean, I mean, we, look, we, we man, you can be a fan, just don't be no fool. <laughs> oh, Dave, if you know me, I have, look, this season has been, I've already said, look, throw it away. We ain't making a tournament this year. Only way we can make the tournament if, by God, we go on a camp of I mean, I need to start Saturday night. I need to pick up some wins on that resume and get a big win against Duke. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The only way that can happen is we go to, by chance go on this Kimball Walker streak and win five games in five days in the ACC tournament. And I don't see us doing that because there's been too much inconsistency with and health. Because that definitely played a huge part. I think I don't I can't tell many people to miss games this year. I think they said Roy been really having to practice, having to call the uh, athletic training like, can he practice this week? Can you practice? I don't know. Can you practice? Anybody. Let me get five players out here. Anybody. Jesus. Moses. Anybody. Can somebody practice? No. They, we just we passion people up, go out there, play, and, uh, you know, let the chips fall as they may. And, you know, that's why we're 13 and 17 as we are right now. But we have been playing well. The groovy little what it is, my brother. You know, we have been playing well the last three games. I'm happy. Lord Jesus, if I'll be even more excited if getting a win on Saturday, that'll make my that'll make my year. Yeah, probably not. Shut yeah. up, man. <laughs> Let me. Who, who, you, you see Duke doing anything? Since you got the clothes on, North Carolina. Who, who you like in that matchup? I'm gonna go with Duke. Okay, okay, um, okay. Do you got the clothes on? I have no insight on this at all. I'm just going. I'm just going with Duke because you go over North Carolina. Yeah, that's, we, gotta, we gotta do that. That's, that's really what it is. I Look, just, man. I just don't see you guys. Even even if we do by chance lose on even if we. If we do by chance lose on Saturday, as long as these fools don't win that championship, I will be fine. And I don't see them winning that championship because they consistent. That's, that's a losing mentality right there. That's, no, I'm saying I'm talking about if dude don't win, because we're not going to the tournament, so I'm not cheering for them. They can sit right on this pine, like you said, be right on this pine, sit on this couch with me, watching that championship game. It's all thing that matters to me. And we win on Saturday, I'll be fine. <laughs> I, just, I just need to get a dub. 
Lord Jesus. Well, we're going to take a quick break before we wrap tonight's show up. We, uh, we got a few more moments left, so we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back and talk some current events. Uh, some things uh, we need to pay attention to if you're going down to South by Southwest in Texas this year. So we're going to bring y'all abrupt to that. Also, you going? Uh, no. I think I'm going to... Uh, you going to sit this one out this year? I'm going to sit this up. You're sitting this one? I am shocked. Listen, this so, all right. We'll I'm talk about that. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to sit this one out. Uh, we'll also uh, briefly, briefly get into Tom Brady updates. Talk about what's going on with Tom Brady. And, and my man Bank Row Fresh dropped the album. Hey, hey. Uh, both hum- fourth year. Post fourth hum- year. Hum- yeah. Humus. Humus. Humious. There you go. You're trying. You're close. You know what I'm saying? I like, that, I, after I, I, he passed. <laughs> <laughs> I try to watch. I'm like, I'm like when he put out a new album in Bank, we trust. We'll talk about that. And we're going to wrap tonight's show up. So we're going to take a real quick break. We'll be right back. These Urban Times present sideline stories right here on Live Hip Hop Daily. Cheers.